All right, I'm back in a different part of the house that is closer to the router. The studio is actually upstairs. Look how, look how gloriously centered this frame looks right now. <laughs> okay, so hopefully there's less lag here. If not, it's a storm thing and it's an internet thing. So now I'm back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thank you for, for joining. Davidas is back again, my man, Davidas. <laughs> Traveling the nation, that guy, by the way. Still, you're still in Nashville, right? If I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh, and now the, the mod squad is showing up with Andrea. So anyways, if you missed it, uh, shared Devers won the contest. I hope I said the name right the second time. I don't know, whatever. Hello from London. Davidas is still in Nashville. Nashville is pretty cool. How much are those guitars? Chatter! Chatter, what's going on, buddy? All right, now the, now the realest thing. Is the lag better, by the way? Anybody? How are we doing lag-wise? I'll wait. I'll wait till somebody says, lag is better. Okay, cool. Well, maybe this will be uh, this will be the live spot downstairs in front of the kitchen, where the newest boss bakes are gonna are gonna happen. By the way, oh my gosh, feels so good to be unlagged. Thank you everybody for sticking through the earlier. Looks like the Empire State Building. Huh. Okay. Cool. I'll take that as a uh, as a compliment, for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what's going on? Everybody? What's happening? So good. To I haven't gone live in so long. I should really start going live again more, but uh, yeah, maybe live with friends next time we get somebody over. Davidas, when you get back, we're gonna do a live jam. That's what's up. A little tired, played a show last night with Kindred. We played uh, the Spearfish Grill, which was nice, but uh, it was exhausting because I was sweating from carrying all the equipment around. And then they put me in this corner because it's kind of storming. So usually we'd be outside in open air, but we were like under a, a canopy thing. And I was just like sweating profusely in a corner with like no ventilation or anything. And at one point I actually started overheating and I was joking in between songs and just really kind of like losing my mind until somebody brought me like ice water in a Shirley temple. So that was fun. That was a lot of fun, mm -hmm. but I've, I've recovered. And here I am at all. Oh, Stitch, Stitch, what's going on, buddy? What just, what just happened? What do you mean, what just happened? The, f the most fire live stream on the internet right now is in full swing, full effect. I know. I love how most of the comments right now are just from mods. But hey, what's going on? Yes, I was in a different room, Ian, but it was lagging in that room, so now I'm downstairs. Somebody, somebody fill Ian in on the details. Ridiculous. Spam fire emojis, yeah, because uh, it's the most fire live stream going on right now. So anyways, I'm back in town for a little while, so the content shall come forth like never, ever before. So let's, let me know what, uh, what you guys kind of want to see. We're gonna have some, uh, more, some more demos that nobody asked for coming up. I'm excited about those. We have a nice microphone that has a speaker built into it that I thought was kind of a piece of crap, but is actually amazing. So that's coming through. I think I might do uh, a video of me and Cindy trying to play violins, <laughs> which sounds like a bad idea, but it's probably gonna happen anyways, you know? So, so those are two videos that are coming soon. Gonna do some finger style stuff coming up. Keeping Bed Bath & Beyond in business. That's right, you know. You know what's going on. Play some, uh, play some Clapton. I think the only Clapton I know is. That's literally the only Clapton song I know. What is it? I can't believe I remembered how to play the whole song.
<laughs> Something like that. That's my favorite part about about playing guitar when you don't really know what you're playing, but you're just kind of going from memory and the stakes are very low, like they are right now. And then you just try to do something, <laughs> that thing. And it's like really trying to, trying to grab the tail of the dragon, so to speak. <laughs> That's the best. There's really no fun in being prepared and playing something well, you know? The, some of the beauty of of artistry, of live performance, is really not knowing what you're doing, which is really a staple of some of the live shows. So if you're ever around, uh, please come check it out because the whole show is pretty much just like what you just saw. <laughs> like last night, last night, the I guess the owner of the venue that we were playing at, his name was Maurice. So at the end, like we we're gonna play, oh, Maurice, like that Steve Miller band song. And then I thought the name of the song was Space Cowboy. And he actually told me the name of the song was Space Cowboy. Then all we had on Space Cowboy was the, the Clint Eastwood movie and uh, a Casey Musgraves song. Found out it was actually the Joker. So we were trying to play a song called Space Cowboy to the, the chords from the Joker, the, what is it? That, that song, yeah, that song is called The Joker, in case anybody's wondering, you know, so, so that was a fun impromptu fail that we had last night. <laughs> that was nice. You wanted, oh, thank you so much for the compliments. That's right, it is a Joker and a smoker or whatever. Did I meet any celebrities at NAMM? Uh... I mean, celebrities in the in the Nam world, I suppose. We went to the Gibson party. The Gibson party was pretty awesome. Uh, had a lot of free food. I kind of overdosed on Shirley Temples when I was there. But Chris Isaac was there, and he played Wicked Games. I really got to shout out Chris Isaac because he only played two songs, and of course, one of them was Wicked Games because it's like, if you see Chris Isaac and he doesn't play Wicked Games, did you really even see Chris Isaac? So even though I'm sure he must really kind of like kind of hate playing that song by this point, right? He really kind of did the fan service there and made everybody feel super special. Mm -hmm. My live stream looks like an actual video. Well, that must be due to the quality of the new iPhone XR. So that's fantastic, which is cool. No, he did not bring the half-naked model, sadly. Struggling with upstroke with finger, please guide. So like the upstroke like, like this, like up. Like you're playing like without a pick, I guess. I guess the thing about that is, it's kind of hard to demonstrate, but I guess having the proper technique of being able to go, keep your wrist kind of locked, then up and down like that. Yeah, I don't know, I'll have to think about that and actually probably do a video on that, where I can actually get a camera to to see that. But it's really just kind of like repetitive motion, be able to like do the same thing in the same way, like. Like something, something like that, is that kind of what you mean? I don't know, but yeah. The technology has arrived here in Italy as well. Excellent. I wanna to go to Italy. Can there be like a, like an Italian Nam? That would be, that would be fantastic. Because Nashville's cool, but, uh, you know, Italian Nam would be something I'm very interested to do. Interested in that? Okay, cool. So, we'll definitely, it sounds like the people want some finger style videos. So, we'll definitely have to bring those up. I just did a, a whole course I'm working on with my buddy, Classical Kyle, who you saw in one of the jam videos. And we kind of go over through, like, proper, like, finger style, like, that, that kind of playing. But as far as like, uh, like Elliot Smith type, like that kind of finger style, I guess is a little bit different. So maybe I'll do some videos on that in the, in the meantime. So that could be cool, all right? All right, so I'll definitely get working on that. Process, if we know the key of the first chord of the song, if we're familiar with music theory very much. The next process, if you know the key, 
I would say if you know, you know, if you're starting to get into music theory, and actually my, my dude Samurai Guitarist just posted a video today about the different levels of difficulty in guitar chords, and I think that's actually probably kind of a good place to start. So if you know the key, like if you know people's key, key of G, it's like, all right, well that's the key I'm in. You know, you can do a lot of different things in that key. I think a lot of people see that and they play either like the G major pentatonic or something like that, or the E minor pentatonic. I would say really just kind of focus on the chords in that key. So, you know, I've talked about this in other videos where it's like, all right, you're in the key G major. So that means you have extended chords, G major seven, A minor seven, B minor seven, C major seven, D seven, E minor seven, F sharp, minor seven, flat five, back to G. So make sure you know all the chords and play, play like a chord scale. And then maybe you learn like an arpeggio for each of those. So like G. And then kind of back and forth through, through all of them. That's, that's my advice for sure. That's the key of your favorite TV show theme song. Don't know what that means. Did I say what my favorite? Oh, Psych? Oh, Psych is the worst. How dare you cheddar? Now, I don't think it's the worst TV show theme song. I think it's the worst TV show theme song for a great show. So, is, is this like theme song in the key of G? It's probably just G, C, and D, right? Like every lame, stupid song. <laughs> is that the psych theme? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's it. Wow, thanks, Ch Cheddar. You're really on top of things with that. The Magnum PI theme? As a bad theme or as a good theme? What are we talking about? James Bay. Oh, okay. Uh, ever play C sharp or down tune? No, but I should down tune. I have enough guitars that I could pretty easily down tune. Oh, I got a new guitar, by the way. There's gonna be a video on this coming soon. Hold on, everybody. Check this out. Mm-hmm. What? Schecter Apocalypse E1. Guys, look how awesome this, this guitar is. All right, the Apocalypse era. There's like a sheet metal pick guard and all the hardware and stuff is like rusted. This thing, this thing is awesome. So shout out to Schecter too for that. Again, that just came out of the box. Uh, so it's not even tuned, but Schecter Apocalypse. There's gonna be some stuff going on with that. No, we're not doing a metal one, but I do have a song that's pretty heavy that I'm gonna do solely with that guitar that's not even Emerald Riders related. Again, Riders is still the main theme, the main project right now, but I had to take a break to do a rock thing while Ian's out of town. So yeah, that, that Schecter Apocalypse is like awesome. So there's gonna be some stuff coming with that too. Again, it's just not really set up right now, but. Exactly, it's not, it's not Riders but it's cool. Oh, ugly, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> uh, check out the Chinese acoustic guitar Ketma. No, I haven't seen that. Was that, a, was that a Nam? That's interesting. You have to down tune that one. Maybe I'll down tune it. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see what's happening. A manhole cover? Yeah, in the very best way. <sighs> what are some of the cool things I saw at Nam? I saw a bunch of cool things. A lot of great pedals. Nam is really about the, the pedals to, to me, my Nam, my perfect Nam. Cause I'm not really like, I'm not all about just like picking up a guitar and just like playing it or rocking it out so much. I kind of like the booths. My favorite ones are the ones that have the pedals and like the headphones where you can actually kind of like mess with them and see them. I think those are the best ones. So hopefully there should be some, uh, some pedal ones. Summer Nam versus Winter Nam. Which one should I go to next year? That's kind of tough. I, I, I still think Winter Nam is always the best just cause like it's everything. Yeah, I still think Winter Nam is kind of the best. Nashville is cool too. Na Nashville is funny. They, start, they started calling it Nash Vegas and that's 100% true because if you're like downtown Nashville, it feels so much like Las Vegas. It's very, very appropriate. But I also want to shout out my dude Mike from Become the Night because he kind of showed us around a little bit and got us into like this, uh, this really cool kind of recording studio after party. And that was definitely one of the highlights. So uh, yeah, Nashville's awesome. But I do think that Winter Nam, there's just a lot more opportunity for maybe like more collaborations and stuff. 
to happen. So I would say go to Winter Nam, but they're both a lot of fun, you know? I'm definitely a, I'm definitely a Namaholic. Oh, not Vietnam. Can you play the drums? Yeah, I can kind of, I can play drums, okay. I can, I can stay in the pocket and groove it out. If you want any information, you should check out some of the original music videos or go to the Sean Daniel Spotify thing because it's all me playing everything on all those songs. That's my new goal, by the way, people, is just to start releasing a more steady stream of original music and stuff on Spotify. So get your Spotify fingers ready and start following <laughs> or, streaming, or streaming that. <laughs> because it's going to be awesome. Uh, I did not beat the lanyard record. Not as many lanyards this year as in Nam's past, but I did grab all the lanyards I could find. The, lan the lanyard collection is, uh, is upstairs. So, you know. Check out Tidal? You know, I guess I've never, I've never checked out Tidal, but I probably should. I know I use uh, DistroKid to like put the music online, and I don't even know if it uploads to title or not, but it probably doesn't actually. I should probably just do that myself, you know? Yeah, winner of the guitar is Cher Devers. Is that the thing I said? <laughs> Cher, I'm sorry if, if you're watching. <laughs> but yeah, uh-huh. Oh, the next giveaway. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what the next giveaway is yet because I don't have it, but it's, it's gonna be another acoustic guitar. Uh, so that's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna happen mid to late August. So the cool thing is a lot of companies are very interested in giveaways. So I might as well just try to get as much free stuff from these companies and give them to you guys as, as I can. So that's gonna be another goal is just to be giving away a bunch of stuff, uh, whatever I can finesse <laughs> from these guys. Cause I kind of do have enough guitars when it comes down to it. So let's let the giveaways run wild. Because the subs demand it, am I right? Uh, the next giveaway, it'll probably be another thing. Uh, it'll probably be just like the last one, like leave a comment in, uh, on the video that announces it or something like that. I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's how it's gonna be. Now, I could make it more challenging and make it more of like a, like a winner's contest. Maybe that's what I should do. I feel like leaving a comment, that is a very low baseline for a giveaway. Kind of like the one contest I had like a year, a year and a half ago where like you had to like submit fan fiction or like a, like a cover song or something like that. The only thing is I feel bad that not everyone can win. I'm such a sucker in that way. They're like, part of me is like, okay, well let's do like the least amount of effort for a giveaway as possible. But then the other part of me is like, well, let's kind of like make people do something entertaining. So then we have some like stuff to showcase to earn a guitar through merit. I'm a big believer in meritocracy. So the only bad side from that is like some people put work into something that, you know, they don't end up getting compensated for. But you know what, maybe I should just not care that, care about that. Give us all the guitars then? No, how dare you? Make people learn it? All right, I'll, I'll figure out how the next one's gonna work, but there will be a baseline farther away from uh, than just entering a comment. Because I really just got flooded on comments from the one video, and it was just like thousands of comments about how cool I am. Shout out from Georgia. What's up, my dude? Is NAM in Nashville, Tennessee, and is a guitar show? Yeah, so NAM, if, for those of you who don't know, it's the National Associa Association of Music Merchants, I think is what it's called. So it's really companies getting together in like big convention halls and just kind of showcasing the new stuff. Uh, it's pretty guitar heavy, but it's not just guitars. It's really kind of any instrument company. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the summer one's in Nashville. The winter one is in LA. I believe there's also a Russian one and I'm working on a very intimate Italian one where it's just me and a bunch of beautiful women. So if you are a company that wants to sponsor that, get a hold of me uh, because Sean's Italian Nam Adventure will be coming in whenever the best time it is to be in Italy. I'm not sure how the seasons work there, but you know, that's cool. No people are in different talent levels of earning it would be hard result. Well, here's the thing. You don't have to be talented to earn something. <laughs> okay, like a big part of my, I mean, that's like the cornerstone of my channel, right? 
<laughs> talent, not necessary. Need not apply if you're talented. <laughs> it's more about just making a little bit of an effort. So that'll be taken into consideration, uh, whatever, whatever ends up happening. So, I don't know. I'll, also, I'll be fielding ideas. If you have ideas for a good giveaway, put them uh, in the comment section or here in the, in the chat. The thing about the chat is I don't really get to see all the chat because eh? sometimes it goes, like a lot of people are calling me PewDiePie right now. Thanks, that's cool, I dig it. But I don't get to see some of maybe the more legendary comments. But uh, you know. How much is the D'Angelico guitar that you gave away? Uh, Lexington XL, maybe someone can look that up for me. I think it's like 800, $800 guitar, 750, 850, higher, lower, not really sure. Ooh, film an episode of Boss Bakes at home. By the way, there will be a new Boss Bakes coming in the next week or two. If you don't know what Boss Bakes is, uh, you can YouTube that because it is my baking show and the new one is happening in that kitchen or right behind me. Also, another thing a lot of people don't know about Sean Daniel is that I made a full length cartoon slash album, <laughs> which has become buried by thousands of YouTube videos since then. So that's... That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm down for a cake competition. A bake-off? A guitar bake-off? All right, well that's that's one thing. What's the channel? If you just uh, if you just type in Boss Bakes, Sean Daniel, it's, it's on Andrea's channel, which some would say is like my side channel. <laughs> but uh, there's some good Boss Bakes content out there. Just Boss Bakes, great name, great brand. Award a guitar for most creative, entertaining video involving a guitar. Yeah, okay, all right. Thank you, Cheddar, for, uh, for helping people out. Cheddar, man, what's going on, buddy? Oh, I've missed you so much. You, know, you don't have to bake a guitar. Come on, come on. PewDiePie should see this channel. A lot of, yeah, a lot of people say that PewDiePie should see this channel. I guess uh, maybe he already has, I don't know. Is it, I don't know a lot about PewDiePie other than that he seems like a pretty chill guy and gets embroiled in controversy a lot of times in ways that are not his fault. From what I hear, don't take that as any kind of political statement. But uh, yeah, PewDiePie seems cool. If PewDiePie wants to uh, get involved in a bake-off, then let's, let's do it. Mm -hmm. PewDiePie, I'm here, buddy. I'm here waiting for you. What's well, happening? Improve your guitar skills and sound. Good to see you. Yeah, some people say that I do. A lot of people say I look like Pewds. I get Pewds, I get Brandon Flowers, Neil Patrick Harris, Chris Pratt, and Paul Rudd. But specifically Ant-Man Paul Rudd, not General Paul Rudd. Those are my top five, I think. So, you know, so that's what we have going for. I wonder how many people tell PewDiePie that he looks like Sean Daniel. Hmm? Think about that. Think about that, guys. Yeah, maybe several people a day. So that's cool. <sighs> but yeah, anyways, just kind of, just chilling. No, not pe pe pewds. PewDiePie. Mm-hmm. If I belong in the kitchen, I'll write songs in the kitchen. Oh, there we go. There's a songwriter joke. That's right. I love it. Also, re react to some music. I don't know if I... I will say this. So I was getting a new phone earlier today out of sheer necessity. Not out of luxury, mind you. And uh, the music that was playing in the phone store really made me want to die. And it actually kind of got me thinking like about, you know, good music and bad music. And I know there's like a lot of reaction channels, but like people kind of like hating on bad music. And I've always been of the mind that like, you know, people have different tastes in music and what's, if I think music is bad, doesn't mean it's bad. It's just not my taste. But it was, it was awful, the, the crap that was playing in the store. And I really was like, it was actually bothering me. And I'm so unbothered generally by everything that whatever it was, the volume and the playlist happening in that Sprint store, it was like super like upbeat, generic pop rock. I really, I really wanted to die. And uh, I haven't really experienced that because usually I'm in situations where I can either zone out of the music or I can just kind of like control it, you know, myself. So that was actually kind of an interesting experience and it made me think about what good music is and what bad music is. And uh, I guess I really do think that certain types of music are very generic and terrible. 
I live in Florida. Sir? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I live in Florida where it's super hot right now. But it's actually not as hot here as it was in Nashville. Believe that. Although, like I said earlier, I, I was sweating profusely. I, I really was hallucinating last night at the show with Kindred, which was just amazing. So, you know, yeah. It's raining, ah, you know what? It's always raining somewhere. Know what I'm saying? Florida man, I am the original, the original Florida man. I wonder what my headline will be when my time comes. <laughs> what will the Sean Daniel Florida headline be? Maybe that would be it. Submit your very best Sean Daniel Florida man headline to, uh, to win a free guitar. <laughs> There's a, there's a contest idea, one of many, you know. Hey, whatever. Never mind. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that's basically all I really got going on. Again, any, if anybody has any ideas for future videos or or whatever, seems like I kind of I kind of have a format for the channel. Maybe like four uploads a week. If I do a lesson on Monday or Tuesday, the QA Wednesday. Something musical Friday, whether it's original or a cover, and then like Sunday-ish, maybe a potluck grab bag. Maybe it's live, maybe it's a vlog, maybe it's a demo. Who knows? Write a song with only salty comments as lyrics. It's interesting. Avalanche of affordable acoustic guitars. Pink cargo shorts and penny loafers with no socks. Sean D. I would never do that, no way. Absolutely not. I'm not about that no sock life. It's either sandals or it's socks and shoes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna join the Sperry revolution or whatever y'all wanna call that, but you know. Stealing too many guitars. Okay, more collaborations? I was thinking about maybe doing, a, doing an instrumental album with uh, Davidas and maybe Andreas or something like that. What other traveling do I have planned? Really, on the books, Nothing at this point. I think I'm probably gonna go to DC, Washington DC, maybe like uh, mid to late August. I gotta go to California at some point. I think maybe September I'll go to California. Uh, I was thinking about actually doing some videos with Marty Shorts. We've been talking about it, the goat. And he lives out in, uh, in SoCal. So I'll probably head out, head out there either September or October, maybe. I don't know. Where else, where else should I go? What's poppin'? Hey, I'm French. I speak bad, bad English. Right on, my dude. Marty, Marty is the king, right? God, I love Marty Shorts. Marty Shorts is the best. Yeah, we, we were hanging at Nam. Oh, I saw Rick Beato at Nam. We were kicking it. Rick's the man. That was fun. That was cool. Oceanside, California. Yeah, maybe I'll just do like a California road trip or something. But uh, yeah. Have I done a video on chromatics? Not specifically chromatics, I don't think. I think I talked a little bit about like, uh, what is it like, maybe descending. <laughs> descending lines through chromatics maybe. But why not? Chromatic video, coming soon. Oh, thank you so much for all the kind words, everybody. It's a very good night right now, Jason. Have a good night, Jason. That's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. But yeah, I guess uh, I guess I'll just start getting back to uh, making the videos. So, what's up with Emerald Riders? Emerald Riders, by the way, is my Celtic band, which we're working on the most epic Celtic release of all time. I was talking about this with my boy, my boy Fabian from Boyce Avenue. If you guys haven't checked him out on his channel, go do so. He's only got 13 million subscribers. Which was great, by the way, at Nam. When we talk about my, you know, I've got like a quarter million subscribers, and then he's there with his like his 13 million subscribers being super humble, and I'm trying to flex on a quarter million. Doesn't really work that way. But uh, we're talking about the Emerald Riders and like how close it is to being done. I would say it's like 70% done. I have like maybe seven of 11 tracks just pretty much done as far as, you know, what I think being done is. It's like you can, you can always be like, oh, well, it's not done yet, but they're pretty much done, I think. So now it's like, I just gotta put in the work to finish the last four, but I guess I'm just, but Ian was supposed to be helping. Ian's gone, I don't know when he's even coming back. So I guess I'll just like do it 
but I don't even know how to like release this. Like I was thinking about music videos and maybe riding horses in slow motion with like cool medieval outfits. Part of me thinks that's kind of lame. Part of me thinks that's kind of awesome. I don't really know how I'm gonna reconcile <laughs> that kind of that kind of clashing of ideologies. But we'll see. So Emerald Riders is coming soon. Yeah, it'll it'll be up on DistroKid. I know. I mean, it'll be released that way. I don't know if I like. It's so funny how how do you release an album in 2019? Like, do you release a single first, or should we just put the whole thing out? Because I could have a single and like release it like tomorrow, essentially. But I feel like it needs a music video or something. I don't know, whatever. Do I own a 12 string? No, I don't own a 12 string. How do I have all these guitars? No one sent me a 12 string. Where's my 12 string at companies? Come on. So yeah, mm -hmm. you think singles? I guess, I just, I mean, that is kind of like the way it happens now is they just get singled out one at a time and then eventually like a full collection drops. So, uh, so maybe. Oh, Dan Electro would send me one? Cheddar, you know the Dan Electro people? Because I, I used to have a Dan Electro YouTube that was awesome. I would love to have a Dan Electro 12 string. So, uh, the jamming masterclass is good, by the way. Based on the first third, I'm going slowly nibbling. It fills gaps in knowledge, even for an intermediate player. So cool to hear, man. Thank you so much. So he's talking about the jamming class that I did with Ian, how to jam with confidence. Uh, if you haven't ever seen those, we had, me and Ian made a, a Udemy kind of master class course, and me and Justin made a different one. So I definitely think releasing like a course on there is something I kind of want to do maybe every other month, uh, just because I think it's like an awesome way that you can get like a lot of long form content value, just kind of instead of, you know, taking a bunch of personal lessons, what I try to do is like just combine maybe like 10 to 15 personal lessons I give into one package and try to make that a good value. So any comments you guys have, I would love to, uh, I'd love to hear about what you guys are thinking about the courses and stuff like that. So thanks so much for taking it. Please, uh, please everybody check it out. Help keep the dream alive for sure. Ah, oh, man, thank you. Thank you so much for saying so, John. That's awesome. Contact PRS and say, send me a guitar. I have kind of talked to PRS a little bit. In fact, I don't want to be telling tales out of school here, but I gave PRS an opportunity to be the official sponsor of Emerald Riders and they were not interested. So D'Angelico stepped up to the plate and that's why D'Angelico, I ride or die for D'Angelico, the official sponsors of the Emerald Riders, right? So yeah, that's my, those are my dudes, D'Angelico. But I have love for all the makers, you know? There's really, the brand exceptionalism out there is kind of stupid because if you're a big guitar manufacturer, like you probably make at least decent guitars. So it's not like I hate on really any, any guitars. But yeah, ride or die. See, they know what's up, D'Angelico. Absolutely, D'Angelico. Yeah, so uh, the Emerald Riders, We'll ride soon. Uh, I'm probably gonna get working on a video here to release tomorrow, and then we'll have the QA, so let me know if you guys have any questions uh, in the meantime. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on, say, say hey to everybody, and announce the winner of the guitar, Cher Devers, I believe, as long as she gets me her contact info in the next week or so. Uh, otherwise, we'll pick another one. I am gonna do some more piano videos soon. But yeah, definitely thank you for entering. If you didn't win, it's cool. I'm gonna do another guitar giveaway next month. So stay tuned for that. And uh, again, I just wanna say just my appreciation for everybody that helps support the channel and there will be more cool stuff coming your way soon. So I'm always looking for suggestions for what else you guys wanna see. So make sure you let me know whether it's on Instagram, or, uh, you know, the comment section stuff. And then again, definitely start uh, checking out the Spotify songs too because I'm going to be posting more stuff. That has been my, my newest goal is to really just kind of like getting more music out there and kind of, you know, involving the process with everybody to hopefully inspire everybody to kind of start doing the same. So thanks so much, everybody, for checking in. And I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you.